humans are known to have large brains. Over the past 7 million years, the size of the human brain has tripled. Knowing that most of the increase was in the last 2 million years. Knowing exact changes in the brain over time is difficult. We don't have ancient brains to weigh. Despite this, scientists could measure the interior of ancient skulls and there are also a rare number of skulls that have preserved their natural interior features. And they both help to look inside ancient skulls to give us clues about the size of ancient brains and some details about the size of key brain regions. In the first two thirds of our history, the brain size of our ancestors was about the same as that of monkeys living today. Lucy's famous fossil species, Australopithecus afarensis, had an internal volume of 400 to 550 milliliters, while the chimpanzee had 400 milliliters, and the gorilla skull had an internal volume of 500 to 700 milliliters. During this time, the brains of the Australopithecines began to show sharp differences in composition and shape compared to monkeys. The last third of our evolution showed all the influence in the size of our brain. Homo habilis, the first intelligent humans to appear 1.9 million years ago, showed a slight jump in brain size, including an expansion of the language-related part of the frontal lobe. The first fossil skulls of Homo erectus, dating back 1.8 million years, have an average volume of 600 milliliters. And from here our species began to progress slowly, reaching 1,000 milliliters by the past 500,000 thousand years. Early Homo sapiens had brains as large as ours today, an average of 1,200 milliliters or more. And when our civilization, our linguistic complexities, our nutritional needs and our technological ingenuity took a great leap at this point, our brains evolved to adapt to these changes. The changes in the shape that we see are concentrated in areas related to the depth of planning, communication, problem solving and other advanced areas with cognitive functions. With some evolutionary paradoxes, in the past 10,000 years of human existence our brains have shrunk quite a bit. Perhaps the limited food in the farming population led to this. In industrialized societies in the past 100 years, brain size has been increasing due to increased nutrition in childhood and decreased disease. Although the past does not predict future development, but with the great integration of technology and genetic engineering, the human brain may be thrown into the unknown. Thank you.